Hmm. Why is that software usage dipping below 15 minutes a day? This is becoming quite a trend for this class. Let's see who's behind this. Ah, it looks like Liz and Theo are culprits. Their software use is below 15 minutes a day, which is a red flag. I better check that I'm signed up for a weekly email to let me know when this class is averaging less than 15 minutes a day on the software. Hey, here's some good news. My weekly segment completion email. It looks like Christine wrapped up a segment this week. Let me pop into my SAM student digital portfolio to take a quick peek at her work in the writing zone. Okay, I'll grade these writing zone responses during my prep period tomorrow. All right, enough playing around with data. I have to plan for tomorrow. Let's see what we've got here for Monday morning. First period, workshop two. My R book's at school, but I can preview tomorrow's lesson right here. First period, whole group. I've got my do now and scaffolded reading. These guys have been really into disasters lately, but I have a few who are just not getting sequence. I should give them some support on this skill in small group. Here's a small group differentiated lesson on sequence words. Oh, that reminds me. I need to print out my lesson plan for period one and email it to Mr. Levin. Here we go. Let me check out this lesson plan. Great, I have my standards and the common core standards. How cool is that? And my small group differentiation plan already figured out for me. Let me make a note to check in with Liz and Theo during the software rotation. Then I'll save this so I can email it to my principal later. All right, period two, reading checkpoint. Definitely have to stop and differentiate. Let's see what the groupinator says. Nice. Three equal groups. My kids who need more help on making inferences are all together. My kids who are ready for a challenge are in a stretch group, and Kevin and Ramon are separated, which is always helpful. This is so much easier than having to regroup the kids myself. Despite all my brilliant instruction on inference, these guys are showing me on the software that they need some support here. It's such a tough and important skill. I better reteach. Let me get an inference lesson for this crew. There it is. Perfect for my group who needs inference support. I wonder how big this issue is for these students. I'm glad I scheduled my comprehension skills report for today. Looks like Chris and Jeremy really struggled here. Good thing they were placed in that group. Maybe I could use a little support on teaching inference. When good readers make an inference, they make a connection between something that they've already read in the past and something that they're reading now. Wow, that was helpful. I'll have to remember to help students to make connections between texts. Let's see if anyone in the Read 180 community has any other ideas on teaching inference. Oh, great. I'm going to download this one. I can't believe how easy my planning is with the teacher dashboard. 